everybody. Today I got some advanced abdominal and balance work. Um, if you're interested in the balance work but you don't consider yourself at an advanced level, I suggest finding somewhere where you can have a hand resting on a surface, maybe a counter or a couch, something, and try some of the balance work and then you have that surface there for a little support. Um, and as far as the abdominal, you are going to be curling forward quite a bit, so if that doesn't work for your body, uh, you might want to skip that. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to start um, with some roll downs, but it's going to come from a squat position. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see the shape of the body here. Bring your feet hip width. Bring the arms to the side. Stand nice and tall, but semi-relaxed. Don't really make any big corrections right now. Just stand there and start to breathe. Looking for some rhythm through your breath, in and out, equal time measures. I like to call these centering breaths, just starting to tell the body, hey, we're about to move. And once more. And exhale it out. Now I want you to get into a squat, not a deep squat, but about a half squat. Send the arms forward, pull the hips back, and bend the knees. Spine is long and straight here. From here, we're going to roll down. So you're going to let the arms fall, the upper body round and drop forward. Take a breath in and pull the knees back. From there, exhale, roll it up. And repeat. Find your squat. Reach the arms forward. And from there, round and roll it down. Take an inhale. Pull the knees back. Exhale, roll it up. Head comes up last. We got two more. Find the squat. Round the upper body down. Take a breath in, pull the knees back. Exhale, roll it up. And last time, squat. And round the upper body down. Take an inhale, pull the knees. Exhale, roll it up. And I'm going to turn back to you. Now bring the hands to the hips. We're just going to start to turn on the balance mechanisms of the body. So we're just going to be lifting the heels. Just nice, basic pattern of movement. Just lifting both heels up, placing both heels down. Just feeling how the weight of the body shifts away from the heels, over the arch, ball the foot and the toes, and then it rolls right back into those heels. So you want to think full control. There's no momentum and no gravity involved in this. All right, so you're not using momentum to lift and gravity to fall, right? It's pulling those heels up and lowering them down. Let's go a few more there. Let's find that control again. Lift them up and place them down. Let's make it two more. Up and down. And last time, up and down and relax the body, shake it out. Okay, so here comes that balance work. We're gonna start with just the arms by the side. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna feel the weight of the body shift to one leg so you can pick up the opposite leg. So we're gonna be picking up the left leg, meaning we're gonna to shift to the right. If you wanna match my direction, you're just gonna do the other leg, okay? So if you wanna go this way, go this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and lean into my right leg and soften that knee. And now I can just pick up my left leg Try to get the hip to, or I'm sorry, the knee to the hip. If that doesn't work for you, just lower it down. If this is a better spot where you can stand and hold that leg up, then come down here. Otherwise, really try to get it up there. Once it's up, I just want you to inhale and bring the arms up. On the exhale, float the arms down and place the foot down. Good, and now we're gonna lean this way, soften that knee, lift the knee up, inhale, and exhale. Now let's flow it. Lean, lift, float, inhale, exhale, and down. And again, exhale, down. Let's find that breath again. I right, want to pick the knee up and then big inhale and exhale. Knee up, inhale, and exhale, place it down. Let's do one more set here. 
picking my left knee up. Inhale, float the arms up. And exhale everything down, leaning to my left, picking up the leg, floating up with an inhale, and exhale, placing everything back down. Good, shake it out. So it's gonna get a little bit more and more advanced as we move along here, so it's a progression. Okay, feet back to hip width, stand up nice and tall. Okay, and again, we're gonna pick the knee up again, so we're gonna lean to my right to pick up that left leg. Now from here, you're gonna take your arms wide. Take a little expansion of the upper body. Okay, now you're gonna take uh, the same hand that, uh, of that leg that's up and you're gonna push that knee wide. So we're just using a little bit of arm strength here to really open that hip up. Once that hip is open, take that arm back up like long wings. Take an inhale and then exhale, draw that knee back to midline. And then everything comes down. Let's do it again on the other side. So leaning to my left, picking up the leg, floating the arms wide, looking for that expansion of the upper body, and then using that hand to push that knee open. And then once that knee is open, take the arm back up, exhale, bring it back to midline, everything comes down. We're gonna keep going here. Bringing the knee up, arms wide, couple expansion breaths. And open the knee up, push it wide, float the arm back up, exhale back to midline. And once more over on this side, leaning to my left, pick the knee up, float the arms up, find your expansion. And now we open up the knee, take the arm back out, big inhale, Exhale it, back to midline, two feet down, both arms down. Shake that workout. Okay, bringing the hands to the hips. This time the leg is gonna bend back behind us. Okay, so again, I'm gonna lean into that left leg, make sure that knee is soft. And then I'm gonna bend the leg, bringing my foot towards my glute. And you wanna make sure those knees are fairly lined up. I don't want it out here. I want them really in line. From there, we're gonna add a hinge. Here's where we really get to that advanced work. Hinging at the hips, you're just tilting the upper body forward, not collapsing and rounding, hinging. From here, see if you can take your arms wide and extend that floating leg out to straight. And then bring your hands back to the hips, bend the leg, and then unhinge back to standing. That is our pattern of movement. Let's take it to the other side. Okay, so lean over to my right, make sure that knee is soft. Picking up the leg, bending the knee, knees are in line. Find your balance, right? Use that foot that's on the floor, especially that big toe. Okay, now hinge at the hips. Once you're fairly parallel to the floor, take the arms to wide and extend that leg to straight. And bringing the hands back to the waist, bending the leg, unhinging, and taking a step down. We're gonna do it one more time. So a set of two here. Picking up the foot, bending the leg. Hinging at the hips. Extending the arms and that floating leg. And hands back to the waist, bending the leg, unhinging, and placing the foot down. We're gonna go right to the other side. Pick up the leg, bend, and hinge. And arms go wide, leg goes straight. And everything comes back into the body. Foot, hands, unhinge, and take that step down. Shake it off. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side. We're gonna get into a lunge position. We're gonna place our right foot back, hands on the hips. Now allow this back leg to be straight. We're gonna get into, so we're working uh, the left side right now. Okay, so we're gonna get into a hip hinge first. So pull the hips back, upper body's just hinging forward. From there, see if you can already take a little weight out of the back leg and put it into the front one, because you're gonna take this foot off the floor. Okay, so it's not a momentum action, it's pushing into this front leg, right? Just let the foot start to leave the floor. All the way up, 
And then same control, placing the foot down. Toes, ball of the foot, all the way towards that heel. And we go again, heel comes up. You're using the left leg right now to power and stabilize the action. And with control, right back down. We're going to do one more. Lifting. And controlling to lower down all the way. And lift the head of the chest. And we're going to take a step forward. Shake it off. I'm going to turn around here to go to the other side. So it's the left foot back, the right foot forward. Hands are on the hips so they have something to do. Okay. Now again, we can straighten the back leg out. Should be the left one. And then hinging at the hips. Settle into that hinge, taking weight on the left leg, putting it in your front right leg. And then power it with that right side to take that left foot off the floor. We're extending here, right? The leg is going towards straight, but we're in a hip hinge still. And then placing the foot down, rolling through that back foot. And again. And lower down. It's a little bit different on this side for me. How's it feel for you? It's a little bit harder for some reason. Like it takes more concentration, a little bit more control. See, I lost it at there at the end. And now let's lift the head of the chest. And again, step forward and shake it off. Now before we go again, I want to do a little hip hinging just to stretch some of that workout. So wide stance. Let's go a tiny bit of turnout with the legs and feet, okay? And then we're gonna bring the arms to the side, pull the chin back, open up the upper body, and then move the hips back, stretching. Let those arms come out in front of you to allow that big stretch through the back of the body. And then bring everything back to standing. Now let's pick up the pace for two, and three, and four. Pick up the pace, but we're not rushing through it. We wanna feel the stretch, right? That's what it's all about. We want to feel it. And again, I think this is six. Let's just call it six. And seven. You're pulling the tail back and reaching forward towards the fingers, right? Reaching to get that stretch. Let's do a couple more. One. And two. And all the way back to standing. Legs and feet back underneath you. Shake it off. Going back to the balance work, okay? Feet should be underneath the hips. And hands on those hips. Leg tracing, okay? So again, we gotta feel that weight shift to one side. I'm gonna be picking up my left leg so the weight's gonna shift onto the right. Again, always make sure that knee is, is soft, right? We don't wanna be locked in that joint. So soften the knee and go ahead and lean into that right side. Picking up the left leg, it's just gonna float in front of the right leg and you're gonna turn it inward. Okay, so it's pointed that diagonal line towards the right, towards my right. Heel is gonna trace up to the right kneecap. Once it's just above that knee, push it right back down. And again, let's use the breath now. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Once more, and we're gonna leave it up this time. Inhale, let that breath come out. Now take the opposite hand and push it against that knee. So it's my right hand against my left knee. Push those points together. Hold that tension and take the other arm straight up over you. Take three deep breaths. Three breaths there. Both hands back to the waist. Take a breath in, exhale, drag that heel all the way back down to the floor. Shake it out. Whew, not very aggressive big movements, but it sure is working up a good little sweat, right? Hands back to the waist, lean into my left side, soften that knee, picking up the right leg, rotate it inward, heel, parks right on top of the right, uh, left ankle, and then it pulls, it traces up the leg right above that knee, and then it comes right back down. 
And again, inhale this time to go up. Exhale down. Check that knee. We're still internally rotated, right? Don't let it just fall wide. It's pointed that way. Exhale down. And again. Exhale down. Once more, let's leave it up this time. Inhale. And breath comes out. And then placing the left hand against the right knee. Push. We're working almost everywhere in the body right now, right? Take the opposite arm up. Three decompression breaths. Both hands back to the waist. Take a breath in and exhale. Trace that heel all the way back down and place it on the floor. Check it out. Whew, there's our balance work. We're gonna be coming onto the mat now on the back. Okay, for a little light bridging here. Take your time, getting down, no rush. Find your alignment, heels in front of the sits bones, little space between the knees. Make sure they're not falling wide or knocking in. Reach the arms long, be in neutral spine. Take the time to find it, really get precise there. A couple breaths once you're there. Now let's move, take an inhale, exhale, inferting the lower back. Peeling up, one boat at a time. All the way up, inhale. And exhale, draw the belly in, roll it down, top to bottom. And rock into neutral as you inhale. Exhale, rock into the low back, lift the hips. And take your inhale. Exhale, roll it down. All the way. And a little change up on this one. Let's go ahead and bridge again. Now inhale, exhale, flex the lower back, peel it up off the mat. Leave the hips up this time. And now let's go left leg up to tabletop. And then on an inhale, lift the hips and extend the leg. So that looks like. Take another inhale, exhale, bend the leg, drop the foot down, and again. Right leg this time. Tabletop, inhale, extend. As you exhale again, bend the leg, drop the foot down. We're gonna repeat both sides. Left leg comes up, inhale, exhale. Another breath in. And exhale, bring that foot back down to take the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, another breath. Exhale it out to bring the foot all the way down. Two feet down, take one more inhale. So you can exhale to roll it down all the way. And rest. Whew. All right, here comes that abdominal work. Okay, just reorganize yourself if you need to. Just checking to make sure I'm straight on my mat. I got plenty of mat behind me, plenty of mat in front of me. And then we're going for our 100 prep work. Okay, so two legs to the tabletop, arms straight up over you. And we're gonna work a little bit slow, okay, to really activate those abdominals. So all in an exhale breath, press the arms, curl up, and extend the legs. Bring the knees in, arms up, and roll it back. And again, inhale. Exhale, press, curl, and extend. And again, press, curl up, extend. It's like a little extra breath up here. We're going again. Press, curl up, and extend. And two more times. Inhale, breath. Exhale, brings you up to that 100 position. Take an inhale up here. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the arms up, and roll it back. One more time, inhale. Exhale, press, curl up, extend. Inhale, breath. Exhale, bring the knees in. This time, hug those knees, curl the nose further up to them. 
And let's roll it back, drop the feet, drop the arms, and rock those knees left and right. All right, we're just getting warmed up. Okay, find your center. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Curl up, place both hands on top of your left knee and extend your right leg. We're headed for single leg stretch. Okay, let's start to move. With rhythm, fluid movements, legs straight out and coming right back to you. Slide those heels right past each other. Keep going. Three more sets. One, one two, two, three. Three, grab those knees, curl up. Here's our challenge. We're going right to double leg stretch. So release the hug of the knees, reach the hands towards the ankles and double leg stretch. Legs reach out, arms reach back, circle around. One, two, three, four, I'm gonna call it a five. We're right here, circle around, hug the knees, curl, and let's roll it back, drop the feet, drop the arms, and rock left and right. All right, we're taking that to crisscross. Go ahead and bring those legs back to tabletop. Curl up this time, hands behind the head. Go ahead and extend that right leg out, twist your left knee. And now let's switch. Stay with me. Keep going. Two more sets. Last one. Take those knees into the chest. Curl up. Don't roll back yet. It's really going to fire up those abs. From here, roll back a little bit so you're on the tips of the shoulder blades. Bring the legs to the tabletop. Hands behind the head again. Take the legs to straight. Right over the hip. From there, Hold your chest lift, lower the legs, and lift them up. They just fall to a diagonal line, right? Not all the way down to the mat. Just about there, and lift. Three. And four. Last one is five. Lift those legs up, bend the knees, grab those knees, hug them in, curl. And roll it back, drop the feet, drop the arms, rock the knees left and right. Take that much needed break. A couple more seconds here. All righty, we're not done yet. Stay with me if you can. All righty here. So we're going to do, bring the legs back to tabletop. Curl up, hands behind the head. From there, extend the legs out. Think of a 45 here, so we're not here, we're not up over the hip, we're right about in between. From there, arms are gonna go wide. Hold your chest lift. Lower the legs a bit and twist left. Bring the legs back up, twist the center. Switch. And switch. It's a little movement. Legs are falling a bit and we're rotating just a bit. Last time left, last time right. Go ahead, bring the knees in, hug them, curl, and two feet down, drop the arms and rest again. A couple more seconds, and we're gonna do a roll up. I wanna get us into a stretch position, and of course it is abdominal. So long legs in front of you, long arms reaching back behind you. Take a big inhale first, on the exhale, arms up, tuck the chin, and stretch. We're going to hang out here in this stretch for another couple seconds, so just enjoy it. Think of pushing the waistline back behind you and reaching forward. And now let's roll back. Stay in the curve, roll it back. Arms are going to fall back behind you, we're just going to stay right here. We're down the mat, long reaching arms, long legs. We're headed to a teaser. Okay, so we're giving ourselves a couple more moments when I think we need it, right? A couple breaths. Now let's move. Inhale. We're going to circle the arms. We're going to tuck the chin 
and try to roll up to that teaser. Take a full breath up here. With control, start to roll back. Legs are falling, back is going down, arms go back, inhale, circle the arms around, tuck the chin. Oh boy, that one was hard. Lift and hold. A couple breaths, lower it down, roll onto the back, legs go down, arms go back. We got one more, inhale, exhale, circle, lift and hold. Let's go one more breath. And let's roll it all the way down and circle the arms around. They're going to be out of diagonal line, off the shoulder, no tension in the body. We're just going to do some decompression breathing. So the limbs are relaxed, but the spine is neutral. Don't lose control of the spine. Be neutral, but expand the back into the mat with your inhale. So this is our rest decompression moment here. And we're going to take three more of these breaths. And once more. And exhale. All right, we're going to get onto all fours. Just going to turn my body to the side here. Flip over onto the knees. Bring the hands and arms underneath the shoulders. Check the knees. Make sure they're underneath the hips. Feet are up to you. Top of the foot could be down or curl the toes if that's more comfortable for any reason. And cat-cow stretch. Take an inhale and start to move the back into that round shape. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale the breath out. And again. Once more to round, and once more to arch, extend, come to neutral position. Now stay right here on all fours. Okay, reaching the left arm out and the right leg back, you know what to do, control, okay? Don't wobble, don't shift the weight of the body around to bring those limbs up. We're just reaching them out. Nothing else changes. Same thing on the way in. Use those abs, contract to pull those points back to the mat and alternating here. Reaching right arm, left leg back and pull them back to the mat. Concentrate, control, fluid movement. Right arm, left leg. If you're wondering about the breath, let's do an inhale to reach. Exhale, pull them back in. We got one more here. It's the right arm, left leg, inhale. And exhale, come back. Go ahead and sit back onto the feet. Keep the knees open. And you're in your rest pose here. Let's get up to standing. We're not quite done yet. We're going to do a little bit more work here. But let's get a stretch in. Curl the toes. And go ahead. Stretch the back of the body in a down dog shape. Right? So you just extend the legs. Push the heels down to the floor. Now rolling up. We want to walk to these feet first. So bring those hands to your feet. Soften both knees. And roll it up. All the way to standing. Now we're going to go right back down. I'm taking a step back so i got plenty of room to roll down into a plank. So that's where we're going. Rolling down plank push-ups. Like I said, we're not done yet. Go ahead, bring the arms up. Let's dive into that roll down this time. Dive it down. Inhale breath. And exhale. One, two, three. Into a full plank if you can. Knees down if you need to. Three to five push-ups. One, two, three. If you're just doing three, stay in your plank. Let me catch up. I'm doing the full five. And walk right back to those feet. And roll it up. We're going to go right again. Arms up. Dive it down. Breathe in. Exhale, walk it up. Same push-ups. Try to match the number. Always feel free to do a couple more. Three. Four. 
five. Walk to the feet. Soften those knees and roll it up. Once more. Dive down. Inhale. Walk it out. One, two, three. And here we go again. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're not walking to the feet. We're coming all the way down, lowering the chest onto the mat. Bring your hands right beneath the shoulders. Let's squeeze in a little back extension right now. Wasn't going to, but I thought, hey, we're close enough to the mat. Let's just come all the way down, add a little back extension. Let's start with a very small swan movement, just lifting the head and the chest, and then coming right back down. And two. And three. Now let's go for the full swan. Lift, and then push the hands into the mat to lift yourself fully into extension, and then lower on down. Two more times. Lift first, push next, slide those shoulders down, and come all the way down. How are those arms? You tired? Last one. And come all the way down. Now we had assistance from our arms that time. Let's take the arms out of the equation. Bring the feet into flexion. Toes are down, heels are up. Everything's going to come up together. The feet, hands, arms, head, and chest. The only thing that will remain on the mat is the hips, the knees, and a little bit of the abdominals. Let the inhale breath take you up. So let's go ahead and inhale, exhale, stay up. Again, one more breath. Come on down, rest. Just a moment here. And let's go again. Feet are down, hands, arms are down, head, chest down. Everything comes up. Hold and breathe. One more breath. And come on down, rest again. We're gonna do one more time. We're gonna add to it. We're gonna use the arms, okay? To make the work on the back a little bit more challenging. And let's go ahead, same way to get up. Inhale. Now take those arms wide like wings. Now as they come forward, it's gonna challenge that back. Circle them forward, placing 10 fingers together. Two more breaths. And bend the arms and come on down and rest. In fact, let's get into that rest pose. Sit back on the feet. Enjoy that rest. We have a little bit more plank work to do, okay? Come forward. Find your plank. It needs to be a full plank. So you want to bring those knees up. Okay, from here. We're gonna lift the left leg up. Make sure you soften that right knee, right? Because we're taking the weight out of that left leg. So just lift it up and hold. And lower it, bring the other one up. Soften your left knee, right leg up and lower. Now we're gonna do that again or you're gonna add a push-up to it. You're gonna lift the leg, soften the right knee and add a push-up. Other side, drop that foot, lift the right one up, soften the left knee, and push up, lower. Either doing the push up or just holding the leg up if you're not into the push ups, okay? Lift the leg, bend the arms, I'm all the way up, and lower. Last time is on this right leg, it's up, and then you bend the arms and extend the arms. Both feet down. Let's get into that down dog stretch. Just push the hips up and back. And now start to walk to the feet, right? Lifting the head and chest up. And then we roll the whole thing up to standing. And we're back up. Oh, how'd that go for you, all right? Let's shake it out a little bit. All right, we're gonna bring the toes together. Heels will stay apart, so we're slightly turned in. We're going to end with a little standing, breathing decompression here. All right, 
So feeling those feet, start to connect them a little deeper into whatever surface is underneath the mat or floor. So find those three points of contact. It's the joint under the big toe, the little toe, and then your heel. Now grip the surface with all 10 toes, squeeze the inner thighs, make sure the knees stay soft. Then you can bring the arms out, take a breath here. Bring the arms forward, 10 fingers come together. Now that sphere that, that's out in front of you, pull your head straight back away from it, lengthen out the neck. And now it's inhale breath, hinge a little bit further, exhale. And again, inhale, hinge a little bit further, exhale. And again, two more times. So your fifth breath cycle right here should take you in your deepest hip hinge. You might need a little back extension, which is fine. Just breathe. A few more breaths. Last breath is here. Now you're gonna lift yourself up to standing. Release the spear, just reach through the fingers. Continue to lift away from the waist as you arch the back. Now circle the arms all the way around to the waist. And then you can bring your feet apart right underneath the hips. And let's just take some nice relaxing decompression breath. Bring one hand to the chest, one hand to the low back. I want you to expand with your breath equally into these spots, chest and the rib cage at the back there. Okay, so feel the breath come in. And we expand and elevate. Once more. Now exhale it out, drop the hands and arms, same three breaths. Once more, breathe in and breathe out. And we're all finished. That was hard work, huh? Hopefully it was, it was for me. If it wasn't for you, do it again. Or increase the reps, all those things you can do. All right, well that's it for now. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.